so I was actually just watching a video of some dude playing Destiny right before this just to kind of get some basic inspiration for what I want to do. So I'm kind of thinking I want to make this little, um, I don't know what you call this, a great panel thing. So I'm just going to make some little things that I think would fit into like a, a factory aesthetic and then just go from there and kind of see where this takes me. So I'm just going to do a uh, array. Let's just kind of put like 50 of these in a little thing. Let's do a cylinder. I'll just do like a 24 or like 16 vertices cylinder. Shrink that way down. Let's just uh, move that out to the side. So there's two pieces that I want. One is kind of like this. I'm going to actually use the spin tool for this one. Let's just try that. So spin tool, if it's not showing up where you want it, just try moving the different axes around up here. So X, Y, or Z, one of them will work. And then you just move the cursor to where you want it to spin around. And then that will just work. And then you can hold control to snap it to five degree increments. Okay, so I'll do that there. And then let's just extrude that out. And then let's just do a quick um, mirror modifier on that. And then I could just kind of in edit mode do that. Turn on clipping, delete the end face, and then just slam that together. Um, just very simple. It doesn't need to be complicated. Just gonna bring that like right there. Cool, we got one little railing. Let's do another one with something else. So take a cylinder, just move that over here. I can take the mirror off for now. Um, actually, I'll leave that on. We'll leave the mirror on for a second. Let's like duplicate this, rotate it, cursor down here, find my spin tool, and let's just bring that out like that. Let's take this whole chunk, control L to select any linked geometry, P to separate the selection. And now we have two different objects here. I can actually just hit the Z mirror and then let's just bring that down a little bit and somewhere around there is gonna be kind of what I'm thinking. And then these, I'll just connect that up like that. Um, maybe I'll do like, let's do like one on the end and then one kind of like there, it seems right. Not really using references, I probably should be, but whatever. Okay, I might just take some textures from Polyhaven. So you can get all these for free from their website. I'm just using their add-on here. So I think I'm just gonna use one of the metal textures here. I'll just try this out on a plane here. One of these ones will probably work. And then let me just put that on all these to start, or at least some of them. So this one will probably want it. So I'm gonna hit Control L to link material. Let's just apply the scale and then just do a cube projection. So I just have right clicked this and assigned it to my quick favorites. So I can just hit Q and then do cube projection there. So that's all I'm doing when I hit that. We can just kind of get that on these here. So I'm just gonna hit, hit uh, Control L, link material. I can just go in here and then probably just cube project them. Let's do this. Let's just Alt D this guy over here and just line it up. I'll leave a little bit of a gap. And then same thing this way. And then I'll just hit Shift R a bunch of times. And then now we just have that in a row. And now I kind of want to do like a randomized transform on here. Just bring that up here and let's just do rotation. A little bit of rotation. Yeah, just like that. Cool. Let's start putting some handrails on too. So handrail can go there, rotate that. Doesn't need to line up perfectly or anything. Um, in fact, I might have this off the edge a little bit and do like an underneath section. I think that this would be cool if I had like some pipes underneath this. Let's do this. Let's actually just array this. So bring that, let's shrink that down and then let's do an array. And then we'll just do like a bunch of those. Yeah, and then that's gonna be like what's containing my, I'll probably put some pipes and stuff in here. So yeah, I will link this pipes pack below. This is just a bunch of like stuff I made that works really well in industrial render. So I'm gonna use some of these and just kind of get this going here. So I want some of these and I also want some longer ones kind of going the length of this. Let's just get that, just like a mess of pipes going all over the place. I think that's gonna work really well. Rotate this 180 degrees this way. It's okay if it like doesn't actually make sense what is even happening at all here. Just needs to look kind of like a mess of stuff underneath here that you're barely gonna see. So I'm okay to just kind of do that. All right, that looks roughly right. And then uh, let's just duplicate that a couple of times with Alt D. Let's Alt, Alt D that to the other side as well. This needs a little bit more work. You're probably not gonna see this at all, so I'm not actually that concerned with it. So we'll just do a little thing like that. Throw on a bevel, a very small bevel. This needs a rust texture as well, so we'll link material on that. Q, 
cube project it and let's just check on what we've done here that looks really nice actually i like that a lot sweet okay so that's going to be the main walkway okay so here's the final asset from that clip that you just watched which was actually used in this environment right here if you want to see the full creation of this environment i'll leave a link below to that it's just a free full guide on youtube that you can watch right now if you want to download this as well there's a download link to the blend file as well as just a pack of these factory models from that whole project in the description too for free so if you like this clip go and check out the full episode where i created that full environment from scratch and thank you for watching